I, Thoth the Atlantean, master of mysteries, keeper of records, mighty king and magician, pass down my wisdom to thee. Listen and be wise. Share I my mysteries, reveal I my secrets. All who have eyes may ye see, all who have ears may ye hear. Wisdom is power, and power is wisdom. Shun ye not from the knowledge within, for the All has given thee power over all. Share I my mysteries, reveal I the secret keys, keys that shall unlock the doors of the temple, keys that shall unfold the mystery within. Chapter 1 The Return of the Starborn I speak of ages past and ages yet to come. Be well, O children of man, be well in the light of the light, springing forth from the fountain of wisdom. I come from ages past from the great civilization of Atlantis. Dwelt there I, gathering the knowledge of the ages. Thus, in my pursuit of wisdom, I have expanded towards the stars, where I have found kindred spirits within the dwellings orbiting the star called A and B. Friends I have made among them, and dwelt there with them. Knowledge I have sought, thus they have shared their wisdom freely with my former spirit. I have spoken of ages to come upon my land, ages when wisdom shall be forgotten among men. Fools shall be worshipped as heroes, and ignorance shall be perceived as wisdom and all will surely have forgotten their connection to the source of all life. They have come to the aid of man, from the distant star space across the night sky, expanding from the blue star called A and B. Come forth they had, to aid man in the preservation of knowledge, so he would not sink completely into the dense swamp of ignorance and forget the wisdom of the light. Preserve the knowledge we have across the ages of turmoil, Yet men have turned their eyes to the words of comfort and ignorance. For know, O child, that only through strife and hard work can ye unlock the doors of the temple and unleash the dweller from within. Through the ages I have taken many forms with my kin. Formless, yet in form I walked among men, keeping the words of wisdom, holding the light for all those who seek it. I have shared my wisdom with the worthy seeker yet we have experienced great darkness during these ages. Now we have come to the age of turning around, the great upheaval, for the ignorant shall be turned over by the wise. Knowledge is key on the path of attainment, and knowledge shall always reign supreme. Speak not of wisdom if thy heart is black, for you shall only poison the mind of the true seeker. Look within and seek the light, for this is the key to true wisdom. First look for the light of thy star within, and set the tone for the gathering of true knowledge. For knowledge that is based upon darkness or lack of light will only bring thee further down on the dark path, leading to complete ruin. Many times have I traveled the blackness of night, seeking wisdom and all the brave souls who sought to keep the light. Call upon me in thy search for knowledge, for know that I am with all those who seek wisdom above all else. I hold a candle flame of brilliance, illuminating the search of the true seeker, so the mysteries may unfold before him. For I know not of a task greater than the seeking and the holding of the light. Seek wisdom above all else, for only through knowledge can you free thyself from the veil of the night. Light is knowledge, and lack of knowledge is darkness. Seek not to dwell in the darkened realms of ignorance, for it profits nothing on thy path. Seek to be free from the veil of the night. Strive ever towards the light, for this is thy path to true freedom and brilliance of the mind. Life after life have you traveled this path, and now is the time to unravel the great mystery within and to let thy flower of light truly unfold, to shine bright through the veil of the night. Show the way to the true seeker, as once I have showed to thee, my children of light. I, Thoth the Atlantean, have brought these words of wisdom. Meditate upon the symbols that I have given thee, and unravel the mystery within. Be well, children of light.
Chapter 2 The Space-Time Continuum I stand at infinity's end, yet I am at the beginning of all things. Know, O children of men, that there is no beginning nor end, there only exists the eternal isness of all things. Be well, children of men, be well and bask in the knowledge flowing forevermore from the fountain of wisdom. I, Thoth the Atlantean, bring thee words of knowledge from ages past and ages yet to come on the world of men. Know that the illusion of the time-space reality is merely in the illusion of the senses. It is there to blind man from that which truly is. I share my wisdom with thee, so he may also pierce through the veil of the night, pierce through the veil of illusions and see the truth of the light. Time is a byproduct of traveling and linear space. Ye only exist in a linear fashion in the dense time-space continuum of thy earth reality. Be free, children of men, be free from the toil of darkness. For these illusions are only there to distract thy mind and to put barriers between thee and the all. I give thee the keys of knowledge for overcoming the time-space reality. Listen closely, worthy seeker, and bask in my knowledge that I bring from infinity's end. Close thy eyes and stay in darkness. Before hands, cleanse thy body and mind of all heaviness. Meditate upon the symbol of the heart. Immersed in the eternal darkness, break free from the bonds of thy physical structure. Let thy mind be free and roam the cosmos as ye please. Do this also while sitting, immersed in darkness. Lock thyself away from the distractions of the illusory world. Calm thy mind, turn off the senses. Send a wave of vibration from the center of thy head. Send it again and again. After which thy mind has been cleansed of all distracting thoughts and all distorted knowledge that can limit thy perception of the all. After ye have done so, from the center of thy head, look through the darkness that surrounds thee. Look past the walls of limitation and travel by vision. Look into past times and times yet to come upon the world of man. Know that thy mind is limitless. There is nothing that ye cannot reach through the mind of the All. Since All is mind, the universe is the mental creation of the All. Be well, children of the light. Be well, son of the morning. Chapter 3 The Dark Brothers I, Thoth the Atlantean, speak of ages old and ages yet to come, for I have seen the All in all. Ye who seek wisdom, may these words bring thee comfort. Age old is the seeking of knowledge, and endless it is, for true wisdom is endless, its depths are unknown to earth's men. So heed my warning, strive ever towards the light, to seek knowledge and wisdom beyond the realms of the night. He who dwells deep within the art of black shall fall from eternity's end, at the end and at the beginning of all things. Age old is the strife between darkness and light. Ages pass before the cycle of Atlantis, dark brothers have come to this world, bringing words of wisdom and falsehood of the night. Amazed were the children of men by their knowledge and sought power by the knowledge that comes from below. Opened gateways they have into the depths of the night. Below and above, the foundation of the world was shaken by this act. It has reordered the balance of the earth planes, and the land of man has vanished deep beneath the waves. The conquest of the dark has been halted by the light, yet a creeping shadow has remained in the minds of earth men. Brothers of Atlantis have come to this world, bringing new light, wisdom for all children of men, and heed they have the word of the light. Knowledge has been given to Earthmen to conquer the night. For ages they have banished the night by the knowledge of the Allfather and his might. Triumphant were they over the shadows that crept beneath the land. But the time came when children of man became wary in their pursuit of the light. Thus they have turned to pathways that were easy to them. The knowledge of the bright darkness that led once more into the night. The shadows that were once banished deep beneath the earth came back unseen in new forms. 
Formless, yet in form, they dwelt among men, whispering words of corruption and deceit, poisoning the mind of the true seeker. For easy it is their pathway to power, but power it is not, for it is slavery of the soul. For ye see, they are not of this earth. Once they came from below, from a place dark and unknown to man. In order to stay here, they must be fed and kept here by the will of earth's men. To be on this plane, one must consume sustenance of this plane, or else one shall fall back from where it once came. So they have poisoned the minds of men to seek power above all else. Bring us offerings of thy land, shed the blood of thy kin, they said, and ye shall become the kings of the earth, and ye shall reign over this world in our name. Unseen they worked in the shadows, waiting for the time to rise and engulf this world in their night. Great sons of darkness came, seeking to open the portal once more to the realm below. But the dweller had given this command to the plains of the earth, and Atlantis sank beneath the waves, closing all gateways to below. I have witnessed the destruction of my land, but yet I have also seen the time when man shall rise once more out of the ashes of darkness to seek and to be in the light. Conquer they shall the eternal darkness of the mind, for only through knowledge can ye banish the night. I bring thee wisdom of the ages, O children of man, to bring forth the age of the light. Stand right in the light of fire, for ye have been given power over all by the all. Seek the flame within thyself, seek to spark the fire, so shall the eternal fire rise from within, giving thee power over the darkness of night. Banish the phantom of fear, dissolve it by calling upon the light of the light. Seek true wisdom, and ye shall conquer the night with ease, for only through knowing can ye conquer. I, Thoth the Atlantean, bring thee words of wisdom. Seek the truth, seek the flame that shall illuminate the mind. Be well, children of the morning. Chapter 4 The Gate of Truth The path of truth, heart, and healing flow day as one. One comes from another, then flows back again, forming an endless circle. Truth must come from thy heart, and only through truth can ye heal. Call upon the green rays of the heart, Lord, call upon his name. O Great One, bring me thy green flame from the fire of thy light. Strengthen my heart, heal my soul. Bring me healing, by which, O Great One, heal thee all. I bring the wisdom of the all in all to all. I, Thoth the Atlantean, speak the words of the ages to ye. Hear my word, seek my wisdom, for the might of the all is in all things. Seek the truth, seek it in the light, for all things that are of light are life, and all things that are of life have the power of the all in them. Seek not truth in the words of dead men, for they speak only of death. List ye not to it, nor repeat it, for ye shall only surround thyself with death. Seek not life and death, for ye shall only find death. The word of God is coded within all strands of life. Life is light, and death only comes from the night. Seek not to put food within thy body that comes from death for it will only bring you further down on the path of decay. Do not pollute the temple of God. Keep thy temple clean, clean it with the might of the light. Bring not dark things into thy temple, for the gates will be shut before ye, and the dweller will not rise from within. Clean thy temple, clear thy mind, clear them by the might of fire that burns bright into the night. Clean it, clear it, for only the pure may stand before the seat of the seven. Only the pure may rise from the ashes of night. Only the pure will seek wisdom and find it. This thy goal should be, my children, to keep the temple of God clean and clear, so the dweller may one day sit on his throne of light. Seek ye not to pollute thy mind with words coming from the dark, for it shall only fall deep within the chasm of empty souls, wandering till eternity's end in the endless nothingness of the night. When one comes to thee, speaking words of wisdom, weigh his words in thine heart. Listen to the words of thy fellow man with thy heart, always. 
For only through the gate of truth can you truly see. For only through the gate of truth can you seek and find wisdom. For my children know that wisdom is all. Be well, children of men. Chapter 5 The Material and Immaterial Be well, children of men. I bring thee knowledge of the all thing in one. For all things that manifest in form are in truth formless, yet in form they are. Ye are of the same substance as the earth, yet the light of a star burns bright within thee. Ye are material, yet immaterial. The Allfather has given his command, thus ye were formed by the glory of the Goddess. She has given form in her womb to thy formless spirit, birthing thee on the plane of earth and fire. For ye are of earth and fire, for the material and immaterial are as one, bound, not separate, working always as one, obeying the law of the white and black, giving form to the formless, then unforming it, so its essence may take on another form. Power have ye over the formless and the formed, yet ye may find that the formed giveth thou difficulty to manifest. Know that all things that are in form before thee existed once as formless, dwelling on the realm of the ether. Called were they by earth's men, and form they have taken on thy plane according to law. One must create first the essence, the formless, then giveth thy power given by the all, and bring it into form for all to behold. Work with the law from which all laws come, thus shall all things obey thy command. Seek to be one with the all, seek to understand the law of all things in one, for only by knowing the law can ye conquer. The All has given thee power over all things, and only by his laws can you work his magic. Study the laws rigorously, and seek to understand them, for there is nothing outside of the law. All things obey the law, for only through law can they exist. Nothing that exists can be excluded, Nothing that is can exist outside of the law. Thus use the laws of the All to govern on thy own plane. Use it, and by it ye shall be one with the way. Only by law can ye exist, and only through law can ye create. See ye, only through the understanding of the law can ye walk the path of the Master. Study my secrets, gain understanding of the laws of the All, and ye shall surely be free. Thus I have spoken. Be well, children of men. Chapter 6 The Law of Vibration All things that are, are in constant movement, constant change. They form, unform, then reform. All things are subject to change, for change is constant. Outside of change exists only the One, and from the One came the Law of Vibration, which is only one of the seven. Be well, O children of men, listen to my wisdom that I bring from infinity's end, where all things come unto one, and all the laws become the one law. For even the laws that govern the cosmos came from the one, and thus are beneath him. But no, when the one descends unto the lower planes, he must also operate according to the laws that stem from him. Know ye that nothing operates outside of the laws, only the All, when he becomes the One, exists above all. List to my words. Know that the All has given thee power over all things. He has given thee power to change the vibratory state of all things, material and immaterial alike. First start with the examination of the law. What is vibration and how can you change it? A substance on the material plane is created by binding different types of elements into one. The bindings between the parts determine the nature of a substance. Change the binding between the parts, thus transmute the state of a substance. Transmute hot into cold, transmute hard into soft, heaviness into lightness. So shall we operate on the immaterial plane. Know that all transmutation must come from the mind. First the cause, then shall the effect manifest. Transmutation is a mental art given to thee by the All. Transmute sadness into joy, 
hate into love and so forth. Use the power of the All to transform all things into the state that He desireth. Use the fire of light that has given thee life. Use the eternal fire that stemmed from the All, transforming, transmuting all things. For know that the eternal fire is the most potent force of them all, for it penetrates into all things, it transcends the space-time and operates on all planes, transforming the impure into the pureness of God. Thus, my children, use the power of the flame to transmute, to transform all things. O great fire, melt me in thy furnace, melt all things, mold them, then reform them by the will of the All. For such is the power given to thee by the All, power to transform thy mental state, power to transform thy reality. Be well, children of men. Chapter 7 The Law of One All things come from, then go back into the All. The One is All, and all things are as One. All things reside in the One, yet at the same time the One resides in all things. Great is the One, sitting above all, exception is He to the rules and regulations of the planes. Above is He to all things that are below. Yet, if He needs to manifest itself below, He must also operate under the laws and regulations that operate the planes below Him. Nothing exists outside of the law. Even the seven, mighty and potent, operate they also according to law. For the law is all, and all things are governed by it, all things operate under it. For only through the law can there be balance, only through law can ye be free. Strife and hardship comes only by not knowing the law. Use the laws that have been given to thee, use them to govern thine own life. For only by law can ye operate and do the workings of the All. Use the law to create. Study its seven aspects, study them closely. For only through knowing can ye conquer the planes. Only by knowing can ye connect with the All and be one with it. I give thee the keys of knowledge of how to operate on thy own plane, how to manifest, and how to be the master of thyself. Know ye the laws, for only through knowing can you walk the path of the Master. Whenever you wish to manifest, shift thy perception from the material to the immaterial, for all things are begotten on the immaterial plane. Then, according to law, they shall manifest in the material. Create an image in thy mind, feel it, be it, hone in on the vibrational pattern of the subject, reach out from thy heart center to the All, O Great One, Lord of all things, I call upon Thee. Hear my call, lift my spirit up to Thee. Take my flame and bring it close to Thee. Melt my being in Thy fire, so I may be free. Make me one with Thee, make me one with all things. Assist me in the creation and lend me Thy strength. By Thy wisdom, give Thy command and let it be. All things go into the One, and all things come from the One. Ye have given thy pattern to the All, and now shall the pattern be made manifest according to law. Study the laws of the Seven, study them, seek understanding of their operations, for only through knowing the laws understandingly can ye be free. Only through the laws can ye manifest, only through the laws can ye be. Chapter 8 The Seven Lords Michael, Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel, Metatron, Sandalphon, and Azrael. Seven are they, the lords of space and time, guiding the nine planes of the All, governing by the seven laws that came from the One Law. One are they with the seven laws of creation, manifesting order and balance over all. Seven are they, mighty and potent, sitting on their thrones of light, surrounding the One from which all things stem. From One comes the Seven. Seven are the laws of space-time. Seven are the colors of light that permeate the night. Seven are they who rule by the seven colors, embodying the spectrums of the One Light. 
Seven are the centers in thy body. Seven are they embodying the colors of light. I speak of the seven points that merge into one, banishing the night from thy soul, for seven are they who govern and rule over all. Reach deep within thy soul, reach the seven by descending into the depths of the earth. Dark and empty is the space-time, yet you shall find light, for one cannot exist without the other. Call upon thy inner flame, call forth its light. Light the way with fire, illuminate thy mind. By the light of fire you shall find answers, searching evermore in the night. For darkness surrounds thee in this world, darkness of night that seeks to extinguish thy light. Fire must ye be, fire that lights the way, fire that burns bright, showing the way for thy brethren. Lead the way by the might of thy flame, seek the light, and ye shall surely find the way. Thus I have spoken, even though darkness may surround thee, always illuminate the path with thy flame. Seek to understand the meaning of seven, unravel its mysteries, and ye shall surely be one with the way. Chapter 9 The Seven Spectrums of One Spectrums of light, they are as seven. Seven colors are there in the rainbow of creation, each governing a force in the space-time, each representing a plane of consciousness. Governed are they, each by the seven, holders are they of the keys of wisdom, holders are they of great knowledge, each governing an aspect of creation, ruling over the nine planes by the seven laws that come from the one law. In color they come to thee, each stemming from the eternal flame, each holding a spectrum of the white. Each spectrum holds a power, call upon them in thy hour of need. I, thought the Atlantean, share with thee the keys of wisdom. Call upon the seven lords, for each rules over the seven aspects of creation. Learn ye shall the seven mysteries, the seven keys of knowledge. Study sound, vibration, resonance in color, and the mysteries of the cosmos shall unravel before thee. Call upon the green ray, which corresponds with thy heart frequency. Call upon Raphael, master of the green flame. From the green spectrum of the heart flame rises the blue fire. I call upon Michael, champion of truth. For truth can only come from the heart. Truth protects thee, truth heals ye. Use these two spectrums in combination, if thou ever wishest to unravel mysteries hidden from men. The third I call, the one of the scarlet spectrum, I call thee Uriel. Give me power over my body, make me master of my being. Show me the way to attainment, show me the way to mastery of the flesh. Use the three spectrums to unravel great mysteries. Keys they are to knowledge and power. Work with the three from the seven. As for their guidance and protection, so may thy seeking of the light be free of the night. Power they have over the space-time, formless yet informed they exist among men. Life they have, yet not like men. Exist they in our cycle, and yet they exist at infinity's end. Governors are they of the space-time, rule they according to the seven laws. Study the laws that come from the one law. Study the seven colors that come from the one color. Keys I have given thee that shall open the seven gates of thy temple. Walk the path of the Master, seek evermore the light. Search in thy temple, and ye shall surely find light. Thus I have spoken, my children. Be well, sons of man. Chapter 10 The Space Age I greet thee from infinity's end, for I have seen thee all in all things. I have seen what has been and what is to come. The possibilities of what one can experience are endless, yet the destiny of man is as follows. Space-born are ye, masters of the stars. Once ye came from far beyond the distant star space, traveling the blackness of the endless time space. Arrived ye have to this world of great riches. Thought ye have the forces of black, 
and in the end light had prevailed as was foretold by the wise. Then man had returned to the place from where they came from, to the distant star space. For starborn are ye, children of the stars. Many had come, and many have left this world before thy cycle, and many shall come after thee to this world, and even they shall leave. Ye shall return to the distant star space to join the harmonies of the stars, ruling with the seven, being the shepherds of the sky. For such is the destiny of man, from the form of a beast ye came to be, and risen ye have to the state of a man. And rise ye shall further, piercing the veil of darkness, setting thyselves free from the bondage of night. For such is the destiny of man, setting themselves free to become the masters of light. Masters are ye of life and death, masters of eternity, wielding the eternal sun power of God. Use thy light to set free thy fellow man, set free thyself first by the might of thy flame, for fire rules over all things in heaven and on earth. Keys I have given thee to rule over thy own plane, for the illumined ones obey the law, and thus through it serve they the one in perfect harmony. They became one with the one, ruling over all in its name. Seek to be one with the all, rule in its name, guide the races of man by being one with law itself. By being one with the seven laws, he become the embodiment of the one on thy plane. For such is the destiny of man, ruling over all elements, by being in harmony with all things on earth and in heaven. For only through balance and embodiment of the law can ye rise. Only by embodying the laws can ye be the masters of thy own reality. For such is the destiny of man, ruling over the stars. Shepherds are ye of heaven and earth, for ye are of fire and earth. Chapter 11 The Star Space Know ye, O man, forevermore ye shall expand towards the star space, and forevermore ye shall find new wisdom. Dark and empty is the eternal space-time, yet light of brilliance exists within it. Seek ye forevermore the brilliance of the mind, search forevermore amongst the stars, and ye shall surely find light. Secrets there are in the great vastness of space, secrets hidden from man, yet known by the children of light. Seek ye wisdom, seek understanding, so ye may also be one day a child of the light. Secrets there are in the vast space-time, yet keys there are to this eternal wisdom within thyself. Seek the wisdom of the light, seek understanding within thy own guiding light. Spark the flame within thy own soul, spark the flame by which travel the night. Sink deep within thy earth form, darkness you shall find, yet search further, sink deep within thyself. In the great depths you shall find glimmering light, stars they are in the night, stars of the heavens, where the river of light flows eternally. Seek ye the star space, seek ye the knowledge of the stars, Yet look not outwards, first sink deep within thy own earth, for what is thy body if not a physical mass revolving around thy own eternal sun? Seek within thyself, spark the flame of thy own star, and ye shall gain access to the star space. From the star space cometh great teachers of light. Teachers were they to children of man in times past, and teachers are they to many races. Brought they great wisdom during the time of Atlantis, great teachers were they of my people. Some chose to take a form of a man, yet they were not like men, but greater in vibration and stature. For ye see, when a man has risen after the shadows, he shall also travel the great distance of space, traveling beyond infinity's end, teaching other races. Aye, for such is the destiny of man. Rise ye shall from the bondage of night, and by the might of fire and the eternal Father mind ye shall surely conquer the night. Bringing light to many places, showing the way for all those who seek it, 
as once it was shown to thee by greater beings of the sun source, so shall ye also shine the light for lesser races, so they may also be the holders of the keys of wisdom. For such is the destiny of man, greater beyond any imaginings of lesser minds. Chapter 12 The Key to the Star Space Greet thee I from the Eternal Sun, from eternity's end I speak, for I, Thoth the Atlantean, have seen thee all in all things. I have traveled the vastness of the time-space in the pursuit of knowledge, and knowledge I have found amongst the stars. For light there is in the blackness of space, brilliance of the mind, Brilliance that pierces the veil of darkness and banishes the night. Great masters of light there are amongst the stars, up high above thy head, in the distant star space, not just on thy plane, but also on planes above thy own. Advanced they are in their time-space magic, for they have advanced far beyond the imaginings of mortal men. From the ether call they forth forms and shapes of great geometric beauty. Bringers of hope, bearers of light they are, holders of the keys of wisdom, holders of the key to the star space. For you see, one must have the proper key to access the proper space and time. Know ye, O man, that ye possess many of the keys necessary for being able to travel in time and also space. Traverse the great vastness of space, but to do so ye must also travel in time for one cannot exist without the other on thy plane. Tremendous may this task seem daunting, for many have failed before thee to traverse the milky sky, and many shall fail, for their pursuit is faulty. Seek not to traverse the star space by means of thy brute force, for the element of time and space will break thee. Seek means to overcome the effect of time, yet travel also in space, for many have done so before thee, and many will do so after thee. Travel first in time, not in space. O true seeker of wisdom, I give thee the keys of traveling amongst the stars, for know ye that one does not need ships or any means of transportation to visit the star space. Power ye have over time and also space, power to traverse the star space and far beyond planes imagined and yet unimagined by mortal man. The key to realms and distant places are coded within thee. All things that are of life are light, and all things that are of life have the light codes within them. Seek to unlock the codes within thy own strands of life, for keys they are to the distant star space. Keys ye have within thyself keys that shall open up the great star space before thee, traverse the milky sky by means unimaginable for lesser men, travel in space without the effect of time being thy foe. Travel and learn, my children, travel and witness the wonders of the cosmos, for it is thine to behold. Witness and learn, my children, learn from those who have advanced far beyond the imaginings of lesser men. Learn from the star races beyond the realms of shadow, for many there are who are thy brethren, and even more who have advanced beyond the valley of night. For such is thy destiny, my children, breaking free from the bonds of the night, breaking free of the bondage of time and also space, reaching far up to the source of all things, illuminating thy own mind by the might of the all. For such is the destiny of man. Be well, son of the morning. Chapter 13 The Key for Traveling in Time and Space Keys I have given thee, keys to travel the star space by mind. But know ye, if thou ever wishest to traverse the night sky with thy physical structure, one must be a child of the light. Great sciences there are of earth men, yet they are not of the light. For seek they not wisdom in sound and vibration. O Spirit of the All-Mind, please set them free. Seek ye answers in sound, vibration, resonance, and color. Seek to gain understanding of the seven laws that govern all things. And above all else, 
seek to be one with the All. For ye see, all things that are, are as not, for all things are of the mind, greater beyond any imaginings of earth's men. Seek to gain understanding of the first law, which came from law itself, all is mind. As above, as below, I say to thee, for the one who understands the first law is on the path of being free of time and space alike. All is mind. All is but the mental creation of the all, creating universes in its own mind. For ye see, all things that are, are as not. Seek to gain understanding of this divine paradox, and thou shalt gain knowledge beyond earth's men. Seek to understand the law of mentalism, and you shall surely be the master of thy own vibration. For all is mind, and all vibrates according to the law of the One. Seek to gain understanding of the law of vibration, for it is key in traversing time and space. Raise thy own vibration by the power of thy mind's will. Raise it, lower it, then raise it once more. Raise it to travel to planes beyond thy own. Raise it to reach higher planes of being where the star races dwell. Waiting our day, thy brethren, waiting our day for thy arrival at the plane of remembrance. Seek ye ever knowledge to raise thy vibration, for access shall be granted to whom knows and operates this law. Access to the star space and ever beyond the planes above and below. Chapter 14 The Key to Spheres Within Spheres Keys I have given thee to travel in time and space, keys to travel by thy mind's will, keys to travel by the will of thy physical structure. Now ye shall know the secret of the spheres, for many there are the secrets hidden from men, but know that by solving this mystery ye shall gain insight into planes hidden from the sight of men. See thine own world, see its motion, witness the comings and goings of all things. For all things rise, and all shall fall by law. Everything moves, everything vibrates. See the vibration of thy world, and see past it by thy mind's eye. See that there are worlds within thy own world, interlaced, occupying the same space and time, yet separate, but still one by the will of the all. Separated are the planes of existence by their rate of vibration. Just as events are separated by time, just as locations are separated by space. But know that it's merely in the illusion of the senses, for nothing is truly separate, for all is one in the mind of the all. Separate by the illusion of the senses, separate by their mere state of vibration. If you seek to visit planes above and below, one must first change its own vibration. Come in tune with the melody of the plane beyond thy own. Shift thy own vibratory state, shift it by the power of thy mind's will. Shift and move as ever one with the all. Shift and travel by the power of thy mind's will. Shift ye, but be warned, for there are barriers between the planes. One they are, yet they are separated by the veil of vibration thus making it inaccessible for the one that knows not the way. Know ye that, if ye wish to visit the higher spheres, ye must first be cleansed. Clean thy body, clear thy mind, for only the pure may rise from the bondage of night. Seek not to travel when thy heart is black, for ye shall be cast down into the darkness where ye belong. Travel not, nor commune with the spirits of the bright darkness for it will bring thee further down, deeper into the night. For only the pure may rise to meet the one and all. Only the pure will have the key to the free cornered gate, the gate of time, space and vibration. Only the pure can operate on the higher planes, for by the state of being pure he is becoming one with the all. Seek to purify thy own body, thy own mind by the light of fire. Seek thine own hidden flame, call on its might. O great fire, fire of light, 
rise from within my soul, bring forth thy wisdom, bring forth thy might. By the might of fire I am freed, by the might of fire I am blessed by the all, by the might of fire I am truly one with the all. Seek to be free from the bondage of night, call upon the seven lords, call upon their wisdom, seek to work with them, study and learn. Seek to gain deeper understanding of all things. Seek to be one with the seven laws which stem from law itself. Seek to be one with thy own inner harmony. Sing with color and paint with light, for the keys to all secrets are hidden, shining bright. Chapter 15 The Great Cycle there are cycles within cycles, as there are spheres within spheres, cycles of expansion and retraction, the exhale and inhale of the cosmos. For endless they are the cycles within cycles, for there are many seconds in a day and many days in a millennia, but there is only one, the grand cycle of time, where infinity ends at the beginning of all things, birthing a new cycle beyond the imaginings of man. For great is the reach of the All, creating universes for his own self-exploration, creating universes to further learn what can be. And so it is that the further ye go from the state of oneness, the deeper ye sink into separation. The further ye sink into separation, the greater the gain, the greater the lessons learned. Thus was the grand experiment, the plunging into matter, the experiment of great separation, for the purpose of gaining a deeper understanding of self within self. Know ye that this separation is merely an illusion of the senses, for all is one in the all. Thus fell many beings deep into duality. Great were the lessons learned, and some beings sought new ways on how to experience even greater separation. Thus they have created planes deep below, and fell they have from the grace of the all, felt they an insatiable hunger in the nothingness that they have created, for they were no longer sustained by the All. Thus they came forth from their darkened realms into the realms above. Know ye that the All, when he seeks to come to the lower planes, he must operate and manifest according to law. So are the beings of the void, when they leave their planes below, they must also move according to law. So they have taken forms twisted that of the night, seeking food to feed their empty souls, seeking nourishment from beings that had the light. Fed they have on souls of men, corrupting them with their ways, yet evermore they felt an insatiable hunger, sought they have ways to consume more and more, but the hunger and thirst can never cease, for the pit is bottomless, and all things fall into the endless nothingness of the night. Be warned, my children, seek not the ways of black, for ye shall be emptied out by the void, mere puppets shall ye be of the night, starving forever, never fulfilled by the light. Call they were the seven, O great masters of the cycles, come forth, guide all things back into oneness eternal. And thus the retraction has begun. Ages ago beyond the imaginings of man was this, and thus has the healing of all things began, bringing all things back into the light of the One. I, great is the cycle of separation and reunification. The cycle upon thy world is merely one of many, for you see, at the end of infinity, all shall become as one. Darkness shall be perfected by light, and light shall be perfected by night. Male and female become as one, the negative and positive cease to be separate, and after all of thee have experienced and learned what there is to be learned from separation, ye shall go gladly, for ye have also seen the all in all. For such is the great cycle, which is part of an even greater cycle. Know ye that evolution is never-ending, yet perfection of soul is the goal. Chapter 16 The Key to Freedom of Space Keys I have given thee, keys to free thyself from the bondage of night, keys there are that lead to great brightness, keys 
that illuminate the mind. Keys I have given thee to balance thy structure. Keys there are also for the cleansing of the soul, for clear you must be of all heaviness in order to come closer to the goal. For if thy body and mind is polluted by the darkness of night, ye shall not rise to the plains above. Clear you must be, clear of anger, clear of hate, for all of these shall lead ye to the darkened road of the night. Clear thyself by the might of fire, call upon its flame, and behold, ye shall surely be free. Know ye, O man, while ye are in the body, ye can never be free, for thy physical structure is the bondage of soul, it is of darkness, a prison of the mind. Yet ways there are to be the master of thy structure, ways there are to be the master of light in the flesh. Study the secrets of life, study the ways of the light. Before ye use the keys that I presented to thee, clear thy body, abstain thyself from food for three days. Also, abstain thyself from the pollution of the mind, for only by these means can ye ever hope to set free thy mind. Send three waves of vibration from thy brain center. Clear thy mind. By the might of fire, loosen the grip of thy body on the soul. Call upon the seven lords. O great ones, free me from my bondage. Set my soul free. Guard me, lead me on my way. Now, form a form that is formless in thy mind. May this form be in thine own image. This shall be the form through which ye shall travel. Associate thyself with it, be it, feel it, and know that thy body is well protected by the All, and whenever ye wish to end thy exploration, by law ye shall return. Travel by changing thy vibration, travel on the pathway of light. Put an image or feeling in thy mind, see it, feel it, then by the will of thy mind be there. Know ye that the concept of travel is a limited one. In the higher realms there is no time, there is no space. Travel instantaneously by the will of thy power. Travel to great distances without movement, for keys I have given thee to do so. Traverse the cosmos, seek to understand its mysteries. For know ye that existence only exists so it can gain a deeper understanding of itself. Life exists to take a form, then another form, endlessly exploring new ways of being, endlessly seeking understanding of the All. For such is thy destiny, my children, being free from the bondage of night, being free to explore the great unknown. Be well, children of the stars. Chapter 17 The Key to Freedom of Mind I have given thee of my wisdom, I have given thee the knowledge to be free. Ye possess the keys of knowledge, the knowledge of the sun state that shall banish the night from thy way. Call upon the seven, call them by name, Michael, Uriel, Raphael, Metatron, Sandalphon, Gabriel, and Azrael. I call thee by vibration, bring forth thy light from the flower of life. I implore thee, free my soul of the night, banish the phantom of fear, and set me free from the night. Fill my body with the brightness of light, and show me the way to the Great One. Lend me thy strength, lend me thy wisdom, so I may also be a child of the light. And thus it is. By the will of thy mind and the power of thy vibration it shall manifest, for such is the law. And so, Cometh forth I to thee, bringing words of wisdom by the will of the One. For all children who cast off the bondage of night shall be offered the wisdom of the light. Know ye, hard is the pathway to light, yet forevermore strive to attain the knowledge of the plains. Strive to understand the seven laws by which the seven govern and rule over all. Stray not away from the path that leads into the light. For great is the pull of the darkness around thee, great is the lure of the night. Dark brothers are casting the spells of the veil, casting shadows upon man's mind, corrupting their ways by the power that comes from below. Aye, great is the pull of the night, and easy it is to fall below. 
Great is the power of the Dark Ones, yet forevermore strive towards the light. Strive and ye shall succeed, for the morning always conquers the night. Banish the phantom of fear from thy brain, conquer by the might of fire. Call upon the seven, as I have taught thee, call upon their might, and by the light of fire you shall conquer the night. Forms are there, blocks in thy brain, that keep ye from reaching the light. Fears of shadows, fears that are based on the illusions of the senses. Know ye, O man, that fear is of the night. But what is the night but lack of information, lack of sight? I, fearful are ye of the great unknown. So in order to conquer it, shine upon it thy own light. For nothing can stay hidden in the light. Nothing can ever stay hidden from thy sight. Bring thy fears forth from the unknown to the known. See them, understand them, then banish them. Take them and cast them into the great fire of light. Cast them into the fire of the One, and say the following words in thy mind. O Great One, I give thee the lessons that I have learned. That which once came from the great fire, now transformed it shall return. Thus shall ye conquer the phantom of fear, the poison of the brain. Know ye that ye should never be afraid, for power ye have over the great unknown, for power ye have over the night. Fear only lies in the illusion of the senses. Fear is but an illusion. Dissolve it by the power of thy own light. Chapter 18 The Key to the Emerald Gate Hark ye, O man, and listen to the greatest wisdom. Great secrets have I shown thee, yet the greatest of them all lies beyond the Emerald Gate. Seek to open the Emerald Gate, seek to open the gate of thy heart. Fears and misconceptions of thyself bar the gate. Conquer ye the phantom of fear by the might of the light. Dissolve all misconceptions of thyself by the light of fire. Linger ye not in the realms of shadow, live ye not by the rules of lesser men. Listen to my voice, heed my words, O children of the sun. Illusions of darkness are cast upon thee, to keep thee from the gate of truth. Power lies hidden from thee beyond the gate, the knowledge of infinity held by the all in all. Truth lies beyond the gate, the truth that the all has given thee power over all. Listen to my words, hear my voice, O child of the light for I have given thee the keys of wisdom. I, great keys they are to true power, given to thee by the all in all, yet you walk in darkness, living by the rules of lesser men. Know ye that ye have power over all, power that is held by the green gate. Seek ye to dissolve the bars of the gate with the following vibrations. Compassion, compassion for thy fellow man and all living things. Love, Love for all things that are of the earth and of the cosmos. Joy, for joy is thy natural state of being. Ecstasy and passion, live thy life with passion, so you may easily conquer new heights on thy climb towards goal. Seek ye to raise thy own vibration by these states that are of thy true nature. Know ye that sorrow and all that which is of lower vibration can only come from the night. The darkness comes to thee by not standing in the light. Whenever ye feel darkened thoughts come into thy own being, call upon the light of the light. Stand erect in a circle drawn by thy own mind. Call upon the seven by which unite with the all, and use the formula that I have given thee. Seek to open the emerald gate by shifting thy own vibration. Live in light, be in love, Live with grace. Revere all life and live to serve all things that are of life, for only this shall bring thee fulfillment in thy own life, for such is the will of the all. Be well, children of the morning. Chapter 19 The Key of Balance List ye, O man, listen to the voice of wisdom. I bring thee keys of wisdom keys of knowledge to the past, present, and future of thy time. 
Know ye that power is great in the one that attains knowledge. Yet what is power without balance? What is power without balance but a force for change, a force that is not of the light and not of the way? Should ye perform thy magic without equilibrium, surely ye shall fall from the way. For what is power without control, what is knowledge without equilibrium, but an endless source of destruction and decay? Seek ye to balance the two poles within thyself, seek ye to gain understanding of polarity. For know ye, O man, that thine own existence is only possible by the combination of the two poles. Bright are ye, yet ye clothe thyself in black. Male are ye, yet female at the same time. Great light are ye, yet ye hide in shadow. Know ye that everything that exists can only come to be by the merging of the two poles. Balance must be reached before ye can rule on thy own plane. Touch ye the keys of power without first balancing thyself, and ye shall surely bring ruin to thyself and thy land. For knowledge without the balance of mind is only a force that leads to ruin and decay. Only death will come to thee if you do not follow the way. Strive ever towards the light, seek to achieve balance within thyself by balancing the two poles within. Ground thyself and speak these words of power. O great spirit, lord of the ages, I call upon thee. Bring balance to my soul, bring balance to my mind, bring balance to my body. Fill my being with thy light, fill my heart with thy warmth. Bring me into balance, so I may also be a child of the light. Thus step forward, my child, from the darkened halls into the light. Speak the words of wisdom among men, and so shall I bestow my knowledge upon thee, so shall I reveal the secrets of the light. Chapter 20 True Understanding I speak from the time of ages past, yet I stand at the end of all things. Know that all things that are, are as not. For all things that have existence came from the formless into form, Seek ye understanding of the light, and thou shalt gain the knowledge of the sun state, knowledge that is not of this world. For if thou seek to gain understanding of all things, seek ye not on the surface of things. Seek ye not answers in the effect of the cause, for all things that exist are an effect, and all effects that exist must have a cause that brought them into being. Seek ye not in the effects, for understanding shall never be thine. Base ye not thy sciences in the illusion of the senses, for ye shall never find answers to the mysteries of life. Seek ye not in the darkened realms of superstition, for ye shall never find the way. Be not as the blind man that forever wanders in circles, wandering endlessly in the night, searching yet never finding the light. Seek the wisdom of the light, See all things as one, for all things are intervined. All things can only exist because of the existence of another thing. Thus, all things are dependent on one another for being. If you seek to gain understanding of the cosmos, always see everything as one. When you seek answer to a question, strive to see all aspects of the question, for everything that you experience in life is the effect of the seven causes working as one. Seek ye not to find answers by exploring just one aspect of the seven, for ye shall wander forever in the dark. See all things moving as one, for all things are the perfect effect of the one cause, binding the seven laws perfectly into one, willing existence into being in perfect harmony with all things. Seek ye ever to attain harmony of the mind, for if ye seek answers with a mind not in equilibrium, ye shall only see chaos and disorder in life. Know ye that night is an aspect of thy life, yet forever strive to be in the light. For if thou shalt base thy life on the answers coming from the night, ye shall wander forever in the darkened halls of the dead. Seek ye always to be free from the bonds of the night, Seek ye to be free from the dark thought that comes into thy mind, 
for it is the poison of the brain. Seek to be free from the phantom of fear. Use the formula that I have given thee, and ye shall surely be free. Listen to the voice of wisdom. Seek to be free from the darkened thought. Seek to be free from the shadow of the mind, and strive ever towards equilibrium of thy mind. Only thus can ye truly see and understand the workings of the ever-perfect cause willing all effects into being. I leave thee with these words. Seek ever to be free from the bondage of the night. Seek always the light. See all things moving as one and move forever towards the greater light. Chapter 21 Knowledge is Power I greet thee, children of men. I greet thee with the wisdom of the ages. For know that only by knowing can you overcome the darkness that surrounds thee. Only by knowing can you banish the night from thy light. Knowledge I have given thee on how to move, on how to operate on thy own plane, how to banish the darkness of the night from thy being, how to banish the evil that corrupts thy land. I, knowledge is power, and power ye have over all things, power given to thee by the all in all. But know, my child, that not all who walk this earth are of the light. Children are they of great darkness, called from below ages past. Children are they of the endless night, seeking to consume thy light. Let it not be, for ye have power over them. I have given thee the keys of wisdom to overcome the night. I have shown thee how to use the power of the all, governed by the seven. I, knowledge is power, and power they seek to gain over thee. For power is all that they seek, power to rule over all by their iron might. Ways are theirs twisted of the night that calls from below a great darkness to engulf the world in its night. Brothers of black call upon these powers from below to seek and to gain power over all. The all in all has given ye power over all things, so ye may counter this advancement of darkness on thy own plane. All must move according to law, for nothing can exist outside of it. Seek to gain understanding of the law, so ye may conquer the night. Power has been given to thee to rule on thy plane, and by the might of the seven ye shall banish the night. Twisted are the ways of black, for not all possess the infinite spark of life in them. Not all have power over all things as ye have. Thus, brothers of black, twisted in their ways, seek to gain power over the sparks of all earth men. Power it gives them, twisted and faint, by willing participation in their rituals, earth men give their might to the black, for they live in the darkened cloud of ignorance. Thus easy it is to control their mind. For my children, know that only by knowing can ye overcome. Study the laws, study my wisdom that I have given thee, study them and understand them, for keys they are to banishing the night. For only through understanding and only through knowing can ye overcome. Only by wisdom can ye banish the night from thy light, only by wisdom can ye free thyself from its blight. When one comes to thee, seeking wisdom and release from the darkened path, turn not away, child of the light, for wisdom and thus power ye have over their night. Seek to aid them in their pursuit of knowledge. Seek to aid them in ridding themselves from the bonds of the night. Age old is the struggle between the night and the light, age old on many planes and time spaces. Now ye have come to this plane to rule over it and to govern by the might of the All Father. Power hath been given to thee over all things. Use his laws to govern on thy own plane. Use the seven powers to be the cause of greater effects. Use the laws, for nothing can escape it. Use them understandingly and rule by the law of the One. Thus I have spoken, my child. Thus is my knowing that I impart to thee. Study my secrets. Study the symbols that I have given thee. Study and learn. Chapter 22 The Shepherds of Life Wisdom I have given thee, wisdom of the ages. 
I have roamed the endless time-space in search of ever more knowledge, seeking a deeper understanding of the all and all, so I may bring light unto the world of men, so I may kindle the flame of divinity within them. I say unto thee, all who seek knowledge of all things shall find it. By my might I stand by thee, holding the flame of the eternal light. Only by light can ye see the way, only by light that dissolves the veil of the night can ye truly be free. For light is information, and darkness is lack of information. Seek not to dwell in the darkened realms of ignorance, for it profits nothing on thy path. Thus drink of my wisdom, hear my words, O true seeker, for when ye are ready, I shall present the way before thee. I am the seeker and the keeper of knowledge, and I may impart my wisdom to all those who seek the light, all those who seek to be great by the light of fire and banish the night. All ye shall drink from the cup of wisdom that I hold. But be warned, O man, stray ye from the path of the one, misuse the seven laws, and ye shall be made one with the beasts that crawl on the earth. Misuse not the knowledge that ye have attained, misuse not the flame, for the fire shall burn ye, and cast ye far from the light, back to where ye once came. Hear my warning, heed my word, O man. Power has been given to thee by the All, to govern all things of the earth. Misuse not thy knowledge and gifts, for ye shall be cast down into the abyss. Seek the light evermore, seek the flame that sparks the divine within thy heart. By the light of fire shall thy mind be free, by the light of the sun shall ye rise from the dark to be the shepherds of this world. Shepherds are ye, guardians of life, power have ye over life and death, so always operate in the light of the all, always operate according to law, to uphold balance in life and strive to maintain it. For balance is key on the path of attainment, balance is key for life to thrive. Balance is all, and it is the one key to the all. Thus I have spoken, my child, I await thee amongst the stars. Once I had descended into the dark depths of the earth, but now I rise, now I roam the great star space waiting for thee. Seek ever more balance, so one day ye may stand in the light. Seek ever more truth, so one day ye may be one with the way. Depart I now to the great star space, depart I leading the way. Follow me, my children, follow me to infinity's end, where all things merge into the one. Bring back the wisdom of the all, and be a child of the light among men. Shine the light of eternity, so one day they may be also one with the way. I bow before the masters that have come before me, and I bow before the masters that shall come after me, for they are many.